Hi growers, Steve with Grobo here. Today you've received your Grobo. It's an exciting time. We're gonna show you how to unbox it, how to set it up. Let's get growing. So step one, find yourself a good pair of scissors and we're gonna cut all the straps off. There's four of them. So we'll start here in the front. I like to hold on to the top of the strap so it doesn't flip off, smack the back of the wall or an unsuspecting helper. Great, our straps are off, let's dispose of them. Okay, in the last step, we took off the safety straps. Now it's time to see what's inside. Let's lift up the top and check it out. So the first thing I see is a couple Grobo stickers. They're lying on top of your welcome card. I love stickers. The welcome card's gonna direct you to go to my.grobo.io, and we'll go over that in just a couple seconds. The next thing I'm pulling out is our box A. We're gonna get that to a second as well. Now we have one of the few things that's not recyclable in our uh, packaging materials, a styrofoam square. We're gonna dispose of that. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, for this step, I've recruited my friend and coworker, Steven. Uh, he's gonna help me lift the Grobo. We're first gonna start by taking the skin off and removing all of this recyclable material. You find a perforation at the front, you can simply slide it up a bit, and there she is. Okay, we've gotten the Grobo out of the box. We've taken off the plastic sleeve. I'm gonna be using an iPad to set up. Let's head over to the app and continue. Let's begin by logging in at my.grobo.io. Welcome. We have just received our Grobo. Let's set it up. Here's the website terms and conditions. Please read through them. Click that you've read through them and accept our terms. And then you can hit, I agree. Here we are, let's begin our setup. We're removing the yellow tape from the front of the door. We've done that, we'll click next. And now for the fun part. Let's take a peek inside. The first thing I'm gonna remove is the large cardboard insert. And another cardboard insert. This is our box B with all of our nutrients in it. This last box is our pH and EC sensors. It's attached to the machine, so do be careful. We're gonna leave it here for now. So we've removed everything from the Grobo and we're ready to click next. We've positioned our Grobo in the final position in our home. It's very difficult to move if it's full of water. Now we're gonna level the feet on our Grobo. Simply tilt it up a little bit and spin the discs either clockwise or counterclockwise to raise and lower them. And then we're gonna click next again. Now we're gonna remove the carbon filter holder. There's a couple screws in the top. Hold the uh, holder and remove the screws. And we're gonna click next. Now we're gonna install the no smell carbon filter. Rip it out of its package. Make sure the honeycomb side is facing up. Now we're gonna replace it into our unit. Simply replace the filter holder with the filter in it and reattach the thumb screws. Now we're gonna hit next. Now we're plugging in our Grobo. Let's plug it into the wall first, then into the Grobo. Clicking next. Now we're gonna set up for Wi-Fi. The first thing the Grobo is gonna do is listen for Wi-Fi. We're gonna select the device that you're using to connect. Uh, an Android would be uh, a regular cell phone, an iOS would be an Apple or an iPad, Windows is your usual computer, and then uh, Mac OS would be uh, a Macintosh computer. Other, probably Linux. Now we're gonna go to our own Wi-Fi, and you're gonna look for Grobo followed by four letters. We're trying to connect. Let's see if we've connected to our Grobo. We are. So we're going to click next. Now we're going to get the Grobo online. So we have to go back to our Wi-Fi. Ours is Grobo Wi-Fi. We're going to click next. To get onto our Wi-Fi here in the office, we do have to enter our password. Forgive me if I don't show you. Once we've done that, we're going to look to the right to see do we have a blinking blue light or a solid green light. 
we have blinking blue, which is what you want. We're connected to Wi-Fi now. Let's name our Grobo. And save our name. Now it's time to remove the red tape. This is important to do at this step because if the Grobo isn't powered on, you could lock yourself out. Steven's Grobo is ready to grow. Let's, pl let's pick a recipe. I've got a seed from G13 Labs that's called a Cinderella 99. It's a sativa. It's about a 99 day grow. So we're gonna hit grow. I am sure. Great, now we're well on our way. Let's remove the cover. Then hit next. Now we're gonna install our pH and our EC meters. Simply open the box. Do be careful, they're still attached to the Grobo. Uh, here I'm taking out the EC meter. I'm gonna unscrew it and pull it off. There's no liquid in this one. It's delivered dry. Do make sure the bottom is still attached. It's a little loop. I've seen a couple break in shipping. We're gonna slide it into its holder right inside and make sure the cord is all the way behind the deep water culture tank. Now we're gonna do the pH meter. This one's a little different. This is a double junction Blue Labs probe, awesome pH probe. When you take this one off, you are gonna have a storage solution inside. Do hold on to that. If you ever have a, 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 a space between grows, you're gonna to wanna to keep your pH meter wet. Uh, so you're gonna to wanna to put that cap with the storage solution back on. But for now, we're gonna use it. So we're putting it in, we're making sure the cord is run all the way around the back. Okay, so both of our EC and pH meters are installed. Ready to read and dose for our system, we're gonna hit next. Now we're gonna install the nutrient bottles. The first thing I do is I unscrew the top. And then as I feed the top through the hole, then I'll slide in the bottom. And then I put the tube in and followed by the cap and just push down on the top so it's nice and level and you're all in set. Okay, we've installed our nutrient bottles, so we're going to click next. Now it's time to put some water into the Grobo. I recommend distilled or reverse osmosis. Grab your bucket and put your hose into the bucket, then click next. Now we're going to hit the start filling button. You're going to see that the Grobo's lights will change. Uh, to a green hue, that means it's filling. Once the unit has stopped filling, the lights will go back to normal. Hang the hose back up, and you're all set. We wanna soak our cocoa pod uh, for about five minutes uh, in distilled or reverse osmosis water. We're gonna plant our seed into that moistened cocoa pod. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pick it up, give it a, a firm squeeze to get most of that drippy water out. It will stay nice and moist though. You will notice a hole in the top. That's where we're gonna take our seed. I don't like to touch seeds with my fingers and get the oil on them, so I'll slide it right in from the container I got it from the breeder from. I'm also gonna tear off a small piece of the cocoa and stuff the hole. I want the seed to have moisture contact on all sides. So now I'm all set to put my cocoa pod into my lid. If you have a sticker in your lid, you're gonna to wanna to push your cocoa pod down below the level the sticker uh, talks about. Here I'm pulling it through, making sure it's all set. Great level. Our seed is in, let's proceed. We've put the cocoa pod into the reservoir cover already. You can see here it's flush. If you do have a sticker, you do want it slightly uh, down. Now we're gonna put the lid back on. You can see the shorter side is at the front, the deeper side is at the back. And clicks next, congratulations. My Cinderella 99 was born just now. Now we're back to the home screen. This is where you'll get your notifications and you can observe your plant growing slowly in your unit to the right. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the setup. Now you're ready to grow. If you had any questions or had any trouble during the setup process, shoot us an email at support at grobo.io. We'd be happy to help you. Come on over and join all of our excited growers. Share your experience and your pictures at All Growers. Uh, it's a website that we'll share a link in the description below. And as always, like our video, throw a comment in the comment section, and make sure you subscribe. That way you can see what videos are coming up next.